30 days ago, my computer ran into a massive issue. And that issue wasn't with my CPU. It wasn't with my GPU. And it definitely wasn't with my RAM. But where that issue was, was with Windows 11. One of the most notorious, buggiest systems in the world. And the way that I fixed that was by installing Linux. Nothing's going to go wrong on this, right? Everything's going to work perfectly fine, right? Nothing could ever go wrong. Wait, there's a reason this is a video. Something's going to go wrong. Everything's going to go wrong. What have I got myself into? Oh, God. Okay, so the first thing that, that you always have to do whenever you start one of these challenges is back everything up. And that's basically what I'm doing here is I'm basically just backing up the whole entire computer and that in itself took forever and Windows was also not being helpful either. Yeah, um, nothing really wanted to work properly here. Uh, that's why this is a voiceover, but hey, I was at least able to back up all my old projects and stuff, which was nice. And uh, here's me talking about it now. Resolve already crashed on me and all I did was export my project file. So this is going to take a while. Let's hope I can noise the music out. I might not be able to do so. Who knows? Hey, I finally opened it. I moved my light so it looks so bad. Oh well. Why am I talking to my microphone? It's time to plug in. Now, one of the other things I've checked to is see if some of my applications work. Because I not only use Resolve and stuff like that, but I also use some other stuff for recording Minecraft videos, for instance. I use Moderate. So I gotta make sure that that works. And then I also wanna make sure that I can copy over all my OBS scenes and all my profiles and stuff. Because if I don't, then I'll be in a world of hurt because I have to remake everything again. Though I do like doing that, so who knows? I might honestly just remake it because. I don't have anything important to save to that profile, so, yeah. No. Go! Modern Forks on Linux, yay! So now that we know that, we can basically copy over all of our modern files over there and then it should be all good. This is why I'm switching to Linux. Mod stuff just doesn't like to load for like five for like five minutes before I actually want planting. I have an NVMe drive. Oh, also, Windows bot. Windows bot. So, the constant thing with Windows was that it would just do this. Certain things just would do nothing for this amount of time, even more. It was so annoying. I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. It shouldn't take this long for modern to open up. And task manager open up. Wow. Here. I shouldn't have taken the, the full Just What I Needed song in order to back up Modern. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is the most of this video. Just going to be waiting for this. Time apps. A lot of this process was just me waiting for apps uh, to do what they were doing, basically. And... Uh, I basically just started going insane and calmed out the sanity 
I just watched YouTube and you guys basically can see that because I am terrible at getting good angles when it comes to this. Uh, modern. Why must you take forever? Alright, the main videos have been backed up. However, modern is still taking forever. After your app directing modern, shouldn't take ages. Why you hate me? I am getting bored watching this, and I think you are too. So let's just speed this up a little bit more. Finally, it's done. Oh, that took forever. I was planning on doing camera movements in between, but that would just been too much work. Now it's install Linux. Right, it's on browser. Installing Linux was actually pretty simple. Uh, I basically just looked up. Uh, I basically just looked up Pop OS. I uh, went to System76's website, downloaded it, then I downloaded Blana Etcher, and I was golden. It's that simple. And you can see me here just kind of looking at other random stuff from a random flash drive, because, you know, I had to find one of those in order to flash it. Great. More backing up. I thought I was done with this when I finished uploading all my other files to my SSD. Now we, we wait another five and a half minutes. Yay. Yay. Back up, please. About eight minutes. Why? 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 I just want my video files. That's all I want. It's just my video files. Just give them to me, please. Just want me to be backed up. I like backups of everything. Is that too wrong to ask? I think so. Oh. This music I'm listening to is the only thing keeping me sane. Did that just cancel? Did that just... Did that seriously just cancel or did that finish? That canceled. No! God damn it! One day later... Alright, so we now have all the files that we need. Now we go to into reboot into our BIOS and switch over into our flash drive. Let's go. Alright, Windows. Shift click. Shift restart. This should work, if I remember correctly. The same, please wait. Usually, this is what we need to do. And by BIOS, I mean a UEFI manager. Because I know we have to go to Windows' this thing, and then we have to go into our thing. Now we hit delete real fast, or actually, we can just hit F12. I see a please wait. That's never good. There we go. Use the device. And then we have to use USB. To, uh, which one? <laughs> and this one, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Hey, there we go. Bacoon charge and so. Uh oh. Okay, good. Good command one. Not a bad one. So far, so good. Alright. So far, so good. So far, not so good. Man, Trump, keep going, please. Please keep going. Please work, Linux. Please work. So far, this isn't working. I don't like that. Hey, there we go. I was just taking a while. That's regenerate uh, as a solid certificate. That's interesting. Welcome to Pop OS. Let's go. Oh, 
Come on, everything's saying okay. This is gonna be one troll just work right away, or will I have to do a bunch of shit that's work? All I gotta hope is I don't run into the same problems of that uh, Linus from uh, Linus Tech did when he tried and saw him pop a list. But I think about that is also just Linus. He runs into problems all the time. <laughs> Are you going to be in the first try? Holy crap, wow. Oh, it's taking a long ass time. Well, here we are. This is Papa Was. Nice. And then so. And god damn it. And so on, Papa Was went completely smooth. Everything just worked right away. It's really weird when the Linux install just goes perfectly. Like that rarely happens, and when it does, it makes me happy. I lied. It was close to almost working. I'm sure it's <laughs> All right, let's just let's see. Da da da. Let me stop saying you're not responding. Okay, I guess I actually have to type in password. Uh, shut. It's based on a dictionary word. What? I had numbers in there. How are numbers based on a dictionary word? It did take the installer a little while for it to actually load properly. And not sure why. Because everything else just worked. Come on, command line. Work with me, please. It's, an, it's probably not going to work with me. If I know how this works, it's not going to. And that's where you're wrong. So far, so good. Hey, there we go. Hey, we're in. That was the cleanest installed Linux I've ever seen. Ever. Wow, this is running really smooth. I'm actually really liking this. Update everything. So far, so good. Now we just wait for everything to update. So the first thing that we actually really do need to do is to go through and to install uh, the proprietary NVIDIA drivers. Uh, skip the step. Skip. Right. Huh. Okay, so that's first in our regard and sidebar. Terminal. Paste. Oh, they made a typo. <laughs> Perform maze versus performance. That's fine. There we go, we're now inside our performance profile. Terminal again. All right, um, this is actually running very smoothly. Waiting's fun. I got to enter install, we guess, while I'm at it. Just add another terminal page while that running. Ooh, nice. Is that really all I have to now in order to install, we guess? That's awesome. And then Reaper. Actually, do I need Reaper on Linux? I could just use a. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry. I you car dot no. Um, I'm ass I could use. Harder I could use. Nasty. Yeah, it's nasty. Looks cool. Oh wait. Uh. Mm. Oh, wait. Yeah, I know I do. Go with this. Oh, I have to first stop trying to install. Okay, so we have to still try and install. So is it this for some reason. So I guess we should probably let everything install. I'm going to go through and grab some dinner slash lunch. So since I totally didn't eat breakfast at 1 p.m., I make good sleep decisions. 
All right, so we finally have Linux installed and we also have Pop! OS running perfectly fine with the OBS run. Now, why would I be making an update video this early? Well, it's because DaVinci Resolve is being announced. Now, everything else has worked smoothly, like OBS is running, hello Logitech webcam, that worked perfectly. It's just Resolve, because Resolve is made for three different uh, distribution systems. Hold on, let me pull up. So, so it's made for Rocky Linux, Sun OS, and some other random OS. Not great for a fact I'm running, running Pop OS. Yeah. So now we gotta go through and install that. Yay! Uh, at least we have OBS running again. <laughs> so I'm already starting up, like looking up a bunch of video stuff. Uh, first thing that we actually have to do is up uh, how to get DaVinci Resolve Studio running on Pop OS. All right, let's see. Um, two years ago, let's go with this. Oh good, I don't need to watch video, I can just look at the description. Okay, so we need all this stuff. Terminal. Hmm, why must control C, control V do this? I just have to delete the comma 200. Huh? Bro. That, I have to make resolve a dev? God damn it. Okay, I got that. Now let's go through and download make resolve dev. During this whole entire process of making Resolve a Debian was actually a lot easier than uh, I looked. It's basically just copying stuff into a command line and following instructions. I'll have a full video on this uh, soon. We now have a dot dot version of DaVinci, so that should be good. And by the way, it is literally 10 o'clock as I'm doing this because it took it took a while for this command line to run because it's, you know, few gigabytes of files to uh, make a thought up out of. Hey, at least it's finally installing. <laughs> Yay. Now, the thing is, Pop! OS actually ran really well while I was using it. I could stream, I could game, I could basically do everything perfectly fine. That in itself is kind of a lie, actually, because I could game perfectly fine, except if I want to use a Bluetooth controller, I couldn't. That's because Microsoft has a bit of a DRM with their Bluetooth controllers, which basically means that I cannot use my Xbox One controller wirelessly with my computer if I do not have some sort of software on there that uh, removes the DRM on the controller. I went to install this software and it broke everything relating to Bluetooth. That, that was not fun to deal with. In fact, that took two and a half hours to figure out what the hell went wrong. Yeah, there exists two hours of me and one of my street mates trying to figure out on how the hell to fix this. Because my god, that was a pain in the butt. And I couldn't even fix it at all. We spent two and a half hours and we couldn't fix it. So in order to actually get any of the footage that I needed for this, I had to use previous footage that we already had from back when I was on Windows and a previous update of this mod pack, which by the way, the reason why we couldn't get split screen to work in the first place is because they removed split screen. Ah. <sighs> It's been two months and I'm still pissed off by this. But yeah, that was basically my experience with Pop! OS. It worked until I wanted to do something that was simple. And then it didn't work. And because of that, of course we move on to part two, which is the Linux Mint. Now if you guys would like to see the full uh, two hours of me trying to fix this, I have that listed up on either a Patreon or on my Discord. I'm not sure which one I'm going to put them on yet. Well, I'll figure it out once I actually release it. But from there, can find those and can also find a much longer version of me installing everything and backing up everything because i felt like that it would be weird to include that inside this video because that was like 20 minutes of content and i don't think that we need all of that inside the video so depending on how long this video is you may have it and you may not if you don't have it check my discord because you'll find it there because that stuff will be free and uh yeah thank you guys for watching click here to go through and see another video recommended to you by the youtube algorithm and once part two releases click here to view it mm, goodbye